welcome to this segment of Dinner Tonight. My name is Haley Mitchell, a County Extension Agent for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service, and I'm preparing dinner tonight at the Community Wellness Center at the Scott & White Urgent Care Clinic in Colleen. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy slow cooker chicken stew. And I know what you're thinking, chicken and stew is supposed to be beef. But we're going to change it up a little today and give you a leaner option for our wonderful stew. So what we're going to start off with is of course a slow cooker. And what I like to do is spray my slow cooker with some cooking oil. And there's so many great different versions of cooking oil that you can use today other than the vegetable oil. There's a healthier version, you can do the canola oil or the olive oil. And you can just spray that real lightly and I've already done that here today. And then we're going to put about a pound of the skinless, boneless chicken breast in the bottom of your slow cooker. And again, like I said, we're going to use the chicken today to give you a leaner, less calorie and fat option to this stew. So now we're going to mix up our wet ingredients and that involves one fourth teaspoon of sea salt and then about a half of a teaspoon of black grounded up pepper. Just pour that in like that. Next we're going to use a cup of the fat free low sodium chicken broth. Just pour that in. Then this is like what I like to call is the secret ingredient to my chicken stew. This is balsamic vinegar and it's two tablespoons. It just gives the chicken stew just a little bit of a different flavor. Next we're going to put in one tablespoon of fresh minced garlic. I just love garlic and the way it smells. I've been accused of putting it in everything. So um, this gives the stew a really good taste after it's been cooking. So what you're going to want to do is just stir that up really good, get all those flavors mixed in. Then you want to just set it aside and let all those flavors kind of marinate together while you're cutting up your vegetables that are going to go in that. All right, so let's move on to the veg vegetables next. We're going to do one medium chopped onion. Just pour it on top of the chicken and the onion is great to pour on top of the chicken just so it'll give it time to set in there and cook in your chicken and give it a wonderful flavor. Now this onion in here is going to provide you with some fiber and when you're in the grocery store looking for onions make sure that you see a smooth outer surface and that it's dry and it's firm. So one medium chopped onion. Next we're going to put in one large russet potato. Just sprinkle that on top of your chicken and onions. And the potato is going to also provide you with potassium. Next we're going to add three to four chopped carrots. Again, we're just sprinkling it on top. The carrots are going to add beta carotene and the fiber and the potassium to this recipe. So with the vegetables alone, you're getting lots of fiber in this recipe and we as Americans you know we do not get enough fiber so it never hurts to add a little more fiber to your diet. So after that we're just going to pour in our wet ingredients that we mixed up ahead of time. And you're just going to pour that right on top just like that making sure all the seasoning gets in there. And at this point you are done. We are going to put the lid on, turn it to low and let it cook for six to eight hours or until that chicken reaches 165 degrees internally. And now once you take this out and you start seeing the chicken's just going to fall apart because it's so tender and so moist. And I suggest serving this either by itself or you can serve it with rice or noodles. This recipe will serve four to six people and cost around two dollars per serving. So the next time you're wondering what's for dinner tonight, I hope you remember Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service has tips and healthy recipes to help you with that question. Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service is proud partners in health with Scott & White Urgent Care Clinic in Colleen. Thank you.